Hi there Brick Builders, today we are talking about the ship and we are talking about the cruise ship called Paradise or later Stockholm from the Burger Shipping Company and of course we are talking about the set that Kobe made of it. So it's the Kobe 01944 called Burka Cruises with 364 pieces and a size of 38.5 by 8 by 11 centimeters. And you have to be 6 to play with it. But let's have first a look at the box. On the front we first have a picture of this set with a city in the background, which should be Stockholm, at least it looked like that. On the sides we have pictures of the original ship and the measurements, which we also have on the back. Where we have a nice shot from the back side of the set. Also with the same city in the background and now I'm really pretty sure that this is Stockholm, the major city of Sweden and the place where the original was based. Speaking of the original, the Book of Paradise was launched in 2004 and held its name until 2013 when it was renamed into Burka Stockholm due to the takeover by Ekero Shipping Company. Ekero ran the ship until the 16th of March 2020. The ship was 177 meters long, 28 meters wide and had a draft of 6.5 meters. It weighed 34,924 tons, had 31,815 horsepower, which enabled it to run up to 21 knots or 39 kilometers an hour, and that's with 1,800 passengers on board. The set is typically for Kobe a brick. You won't easy rob anything off because there is not much detail in this size. But let's look at the instructions. These are divided into two parts, at least for the bricks. Each part comes in a separate bag, consisting other bags inside for the first parts. These are six. It's typically Kobe, only the current step is in color. Everything else is grayed out. And Kobe's special parts are mainly or at least sometimes shown separately to avoid mixing them up. After 59 steps the ship is ready. At least everything that has to do with the bricks is ready. But there is a third part to do on the ship and this has to do with a rather large and scary sticker sheet. Considering not to glue them on is a bit of a problem since it is a cruise ship and this cruise ship does need a lot of detail for windows, for stairs and everything else there and that in this set is done by the stickers. In the size it would be rather hard to do it with bricks. Yeah, and it would be very nice if it were all prints, but Kobe decided otherwise. So it's everything about a stable hand and a lot of tries to put those many stickers as plain as possible on the ship and you see my result here. I'm not completely happy, but it looks rather good. So that's the way it is. So I consider putting up all those stickers as a special part in the building of this set. The rest of the functions here are virtually non-existent. You can move the antennas, which 
consists of a gear lever with a special linkage and another part which be can be moved but I don't think they're meant to be moved here. There's also no inside, this is a block, this is mostly a block. You can't open anything easily, so it's not to be played inside, it's also a bit small to be played inside, so this is rather a display model or a ship for a child, just to play with it as a ship, not as a dollhouse. To be fair, going through all of these stickers does leave you with a result that's typically Kobe, which means there are a lot of details and there is a lot to be seen as and there is also a lot to be played with. In addition to that, you will recognize this model, this set. If you know the original ship, you will recognize it immediately. So let's open the set. As usual, it's not too easy to open the set. You really need a sharp knife and a lot of force to tear open this carton. But once successful, you will find a print inside of this box where Kobe put in the date and the production place. In our case, it's the 5th of August 2020 and as we all already had expected it was packed in Milic in Poland in Europe. So whom is this set for? First it's a display set. It does look good. It does look good on a shelf. It does look good on a display. It's a bit let down by the stickers. I don't know how they will turn out in the long run, but for now it's a real good looking set. Secondly, and as typically for Kobe, it can also be played with, even with smaller kits. There is nothing that falls off easily. There's nothing to repair all the time. So, it's really something you can give your kid and who can have a bit of fun with playing ship. In the end, there are also a lot of parts to be recognized, mainly the blue transparent tiles in there, a lot of white pieces again, and a lot of different slopes, not so many, will form giving parts which you can't use for everything else but a lot of smaller pieces that could be reused once you got to figure out the colors. So if you like the style, if you want to have something like this on your shelf or if you even have been passenger of one of the Birka ships, this set might be something for you and you don't really do anything wrong buying it. Also, if you like to have a little ship for your kids that they can play with, maybe without the stickers. So go ahead, you can buy the thing without any regrets. With that, we're in the middle of the building phase. If you've liked what you've seen, please press the like button. If you didn't, please press the didn't like button. If you're a passenger of, on one of those ships or do especially like those ships, please tell us about your adventures on, in the comments. And if you like to have this or similar videos every week, please subscribe. But that's it for this video. Have fun building. Have fun watching. And see you.